<laughs> How's it going, everybody? This is your boy Hollows Grim, and today we're gonna be reacting to Gabriel Iglesias, the fluffy man, Cuban coffee almost killed me. Now, I watched a little bit of Gabriel Iglesias back in the day. I freaking love the fluffy man. Fluffy man's freaking awesome. <laughs> For all my Cubans out there, please put down in the comment section how strong Cuban coffee is. Y'all guys are so damn funny. <laughs> And without further ado, oh, before we get into that, please like, subscribe, and share this video with your buddies, and let's get to it. <laughs> you guys are all standing, huh? No pressure. No pressure. Mm -hmm. We're having fun, you guys. We are here coming to you from South Florida. Florida, man. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Really close. Uh, I got to ask a question since we're here. I just want to know, uh, how many Latinos in the crowd tonight? <laughs> now, notice I asked Latinos. I wasn't very specific. Because if you call a Latino the wrong one, there's an issue. You mm -hmm. call a Mexican, a Salvadorian, we get mad. You call a Puerto Rican, a Dominican, they get mad. You call a Cuban, anything but a Cuban, you're going to get stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. He is not wrong. You call us a Dominican or any other wrong Hispanic name, we are going to gut you. We are going to gut you. <laughs> So for everyone here and everyone at home, I have found a way to figure out who's who. Hmm. It's very easy. All you have to do is listen to the way the person is speaking Spanish. You don't have to understand a single word, just listen to the flow, that'll let you know. For example, Mexicans, when we speak Spanish, we sound high. <laughs> Seriously, you ask us a question, we drag it out. <laughs> hey bro, how's it going? <laughs> So what? <laughs> now, Cubans, I found out Cubans, you guys speak Spanish, like everything means something. It's very serious. Mm -hmm. You ask a Cuban a question, bro, where are you going? Al baño, coño, carajo, why you wanna know? <laughs> <laughs> Just asking, dude. <laughs> it's like, why is he yelling? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> and I found out Puerto Ricans, you guys speak Spanish, like there's a time limit. Mm -hmm. You ask a question, hey, bro, what's up? Mira, me blow, el otro día estaba con Hitch, me estaba platicando, me estaba platicando, me estaba <laughs> oh man hey for my fellow bodyguards out there where you at where you at <laughs> it's so true <laughs> bro especially the freak <laughs> oh my god especially my grandpa my grandma oh my god God, it sounds like they're freaking speaking at light speed, like no joke, no joke. Fast. Even Mexicans were like, hey, write that down. <laughs> Quick, another way. Sometimes we can't even understand each, each other. Let you know who you're dealing with. For example, a Mexican's preferred drink of choice is tequila, okay? A Puerto Rican's preferred drink of choice is either donku or coquito. Mm-hmm. Right. If you don't know what Coquito is, it's uh, Bacardi or a specific type of rum, whatever one, rum you want to use, preferably Bacardi, Bacardi. <laughs> and it's a little bit of coconut and a little bit of cinnamon. You let that ferment for a little bit, preferably one day, a day and a half, and you serve it. It's really, really good. We usually do that at events like either like Christmas, Thanksgiving, or in case uh, we just want it for the hell of it, we make it. <laughs> Very easy to make. Don't add too much rum. Not only we get drunk faster because we add a, sh a crap ton of rum in there. I'm trying to watch my language. Crap ton of rum. And uh, like I said, get the rum to the coconut to the freaking cinnamon right. Or you will regret yourself the next day. Right when you wake up in the morning. You have a hangover like you wouldn't believe. Trust me on that. <laughs> and a Cuban's preferred drink of choice is coffee. Mm -hmm. Now let me tell you how I know about this one. So a few years ago, so Martina and I were doing a show at the Improv in Miami, and after the show was over, I was talking to Martina, say, hey bro, see we gotta try out some of this Cuban food everybody's been talking about, it's our first time here. And so we go outside to catch a cab, and when we got in the car, uh, I figured something out, and that is that uh, Cubans come in every color of the rainbow. So do Puerto Ricans. Cubans and Puerto Ricans, you go from really, really white all the way to freaking navy black, just <laughs> Wesley Snipes just dark school on the head. 
metal. <laughs> Hardcore, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't know that there was such a thing as a black Cuban because we get in the car and we're speaking Spanish and this guy turns around and he's black and he's like, Donde quieren ir? Where you wanna go? <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> it freaked me out. I thought the partition was tinted. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. So bad. So he's yelling at it. Donde quieren ir? I'm like, dude, uh, <laughs> why is he yelling? <laughs> I said, listen, we, uh, we want to go somewhere to get some authentic Cuban food. Where can we go? And then he takes us to this place called Calle Ocho, which for everyone at home, Calle Ocho is uh, Spanish for 8th Street. And it's an area where, you know, it's very authentic. And um, he takes us to this restaurant called La Carreta. Okay? <laughs> so uh, you can't miss it. There's a restaurant on the corner with a giant wagon wheel in front of it and a huge rooster. I don't know what the rooster does, but look out for him. Yep. Got we your feet up. I think, what was it, Martin? Like two, three o'clock in the morning when we went in? Easy three in the morning. Easy three o'clock in the morning. We sit down at this yeah. table and we're looking at the menu. We're trying to figure it out. And there's all kinds of bananas and all kinds of weird stuff that I'm like, I didn't know that. Sir. Okay, bananas, fine. Okay, let's do this. Um, and here comes the waiter and the waiter's Platanos. coming over and he gets in my face and he's like, ¿Qué tú quieres? And I'm like, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he yelling? I don't know. <laughs> I said, listen, bro, I'll tell you what, um, let me look at this menu a little bit longer. I think we need some time, right, Mark? Yeah, we were like, yeah, we need some more time. And I says, uh, for right now, can I just get a coffee? And he's like, oh, okay, un cafecito. <laughs> and he walks into the kitchen. He comes back five minutes later, seriously, with a little coaster and a shot glass of coffee on the coaster. And he puts it mm -hmm. down in front of me and he's like, okay. And I'm like, what is this? Hey, Dude, if you guys don't know Cuba coffee, Jesus, it is strong. Strong stuff, like they give it like 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 Gabriel said, like a little little look, itty bitty coaster, it could be coaster about that big, that big, and jeez, it's bitter, but god dang, it's concentrated. Holy crap! Un cafecito. I go, dude, look at me. I'm not a ito. I'm <laughs> a ande. <laughs> And then I started thinking, maybe he knows who I am. I get the joke, bring the really big guy, the really little cup, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I said, bro, what is it? I go, no, 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 no. Bring me a full-size cup of coffee. Take this back in the, I was frustrated. So the guy's like, okay, and what you want? Okay. So he grabs it all pissed off, and then he goes in the kitchen and he starts talking trash to one of the cooks. He's like, Manolo. And then he comes back with a bowl of Cuban coffee, okay? Oh, And he puts it geez. down in front of me and he won't leave the table. He's like, okay, and I'm like, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, I get it, he wants How to- How is he not sure dead? This is what I, you know, what I want, right? So I pick up the bowl and I take a little sip of it. And when the coffee hit my tongue, I was like, oh my God, this is the most concentrated coffee I've ever had. It was really, really strong and then it clicked. That's why they bring you a little shot glass of this stuff. So now I don't want to look stupid making him take a bowl of coffee back in the kitchen. So I picked it up to my face again and I drank the whole thing. Oh my God. <laughs> well done. I knew I messed up. Yeah, you did. I knew I messed up because a waiter looked at me and he's like, vaya con Dios. <laughs> You're gonna die. Oh, like I said, how is he still here with us? <laughs> he goes back in the kitchen. He's like, Manolo, call 911. <laughs> Ten minutes go by, you guys. I am so wired. That coffee is strong. That is the only way in the world Cubans can make that swim. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> there you guys go that was Gabriel Iglesias Cuba coffee almost killed me if you guys want to see more of this kind of content especially with the fluffy guy himself please write it down in the comment section down below please like subscribe and as always have a good one